If you've drunk half a bottle of wine and you've got some left over and you're not going to drink it, very rare, I know, but perhaps you've opened a red and you're going to go away and it's probably going to go off, then what you can do is actually take your wine and make some cubes out of it. Just make some wine ice cubes. cubes out of your wine. I'm making a right mess of that. So you use wine cubes. Now, the yeah. reason why you'll do that, I've got some pre-frozen here. Here we go. Is it use them in cooking? Now, that is a good idea. So there you go. Take your wine cubes. I'm going to put them in a bolognese that I've made just over ah. here. Just add as many as you want to taste, but just pop them in and they'll melt. Do you know what I really like that? Bolognese. It's really good. What's you can that? use it for because casseroles um, or anything. Uh, alcohol in them. They won't go incredibly hard, will they? So yeah, I mean, you can see I've act they're actually they're breaking apart already that's because, really like I say, they don't freeze I think perfectly. That's good. I presume you could do that with cider and beer and all sorts of yeah, stuff. Yeah, white wine as well. Like yeah. that. Good. good. I've, got, good. Some, I've good. got some more ice cube trays to show you, actually, as well. Okay. You go. Do you want that? There Thank you. you. Uh, how about a gin and tonic? Now, if you've got, um, you know, a bit of lemon left over in the fridge, we all find it a week later, don't we? Gone mouldy. Yeah. The ends of cucumber. Don't throw it away. While it's still fresh, freeze it. Freeze it again into cubes like this. There you go. So there's your lemons or your limes frozen into with a little bit of water. And oh, there's right. cucumber as well. So you can actually just take your cucumber and then pour that into... Oh, and it looks so nice as well. Okay. Gin and tonic. Could you, you could you freeze it in tonic? Uh, yes, you rather could. than actually adding, because yes. I'm not sure I could ever add water to my gin and tonic. Oh, but yeah, I, I, I think I did like you? It. No water. Ice is okay, but yeah, you know, yeah. But adding, well, I just wonder whether you could just put yes, a bit more absolutely tonic in use it. use tonic. Yeah, just freeze the tonic. Oh, yeah, and it's great. I think it's just a really nice way. Then there's no waste either, is it? Yeah, let's make it really flavoursome. There you go. There's Beautiful. your gin and tonic. Love that. Love that. Love that. Love that. Okay, now how about somewhere to put your keys? Mm. This Lego. Just use Lego bricks. It's really, really straightforward. This is a Lego base, so you could take this and mount it somewhere on your wall, on a piece of wood, wherever you want to put it. Yeah. And then use this so on here, look, on this little brick. This is a little eye hook, so the kind of thing that you find How in a um, picture frame. How have you that to that thing? You just literally get screw the, it in. Screw it in. So look, here's here's one that you just screw all the way in. It's Does really it not crack? simple. No, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Don't use a really thick eye hook. Okay. Just use a thin one, and the sharp bit actually then hides inside the hole in there, so there's no sharp. That's really touch. good. It's really good. It? Then you can I just like clip that. it on to wherever you want. Mm -hmm. there's and you could have, now. you know, sort of people colour coded or yes. That's areas good. color coded. You can even use the Lego bricks to write the word keys or whatever you want above it. It's like pretty it. nice. Good. Pretty nice. Okay. You can even yeah. use um, that one. You could use Lego figures as well with their arms sticking out. Just stick them on. You can hang other stuff on there and stuff. It's really good. The possibilities are endless. The possibilities are endless, Holly. That's right. Okay, let's talk about toothpaste now. We all like squeezing every last bit out of our yes. toothpaste tube. Yes. And I'm an end squeezer. I don't go for the. For the middle. <laughs> are you? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> you should use a what bulldog. What sort of reaction have you had from that? <laughs> But there is nothing more annoying than when you go to the toothpaste and somebody's just squeezed it in the middle. Yeah. And then you have to... You know, I agree, that really annoys me. <laughs> yeah. So what you want is one of these for your end squeezing, Holly, is a, uh, is a bulldog clip. So yeah. once you've actually got to the bit where there's nothing left inside, just fold it all the way over and then use your bulldog clip like that. There you go. And then that's there and it's safe and then you take it off and when you do it again, roll it up the next bit, put the bulldog clip back up. This one's the one that stands up on its own, but you can use the bulldog clip on certain tubes to stand up the other way as well. Oh, uh, right. Just how, uh, how do you feel about that for your ends? Well, good. Uh, good yeah, story. I mean, it's not the prettiest thing, is it? I don't it, want that on no. the side with all my bits You can get coloured pinky ones, though, and can blue you? ones, can't you? You can get coloured yeah, really yeah. pretty pattern we ones. We can get stone it. Colored. We could glue it and put a little spot. Maybe we could do it in our craft item. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Next up. Right, OK, I'm going to now show you, show you how to uh, fold your short-sleeved tops. So ah. polo shirts, T-shirts, that kind of yeah. thing. I'm going to show you how to do it, OK? So you pinch here, you pinch here, you move it over there, you do that, put it on there, fold it over, done. <gasps> What in what? the name <laughs> of... Right, hang on. Thought pinching, you'd like there, that. pinching there is not good enough. So, right. face down? No, uh, face up. I'll face show you up. again. So, face up. Imagine this is the you middle... You worked in Jack Wills or something. What is <laughs> it? <laughs> it is like that. Here's the middle of your top. Yeah. Right. So, you go from between the middle and the top here, about halfway. Okay, yeah. So, there you go. So, that's roughly about halfway. Yeah. So, you pinch here. That's, that's nipple Under position. the arm. arm. Yep. Yeah. Pinch here at the top. Move that one over there to there. Pull your left hand through and fold it over and it's done. Now, I will show you again if you want so you can have a go and I'll label it for I you so it's even easier, that. all right? So there you go. So it's called point A, point B, point C, there. we call it. Yeah, so roughly point A is about there. There. Point B is... And then sorry, I don't know what to do. About there and I'll show you what to do. And point C we'll have down there. So it's in a line. So your left hand, pinch point A. Yeah. Right hand, point B. Yeah. 
Keep your left hand there, move point B over the top to point C. Grip both point A and point C, and now lift it up and pull point A through. That's it. Lay that bit it's flat. It's actually happening! Nearly, fold it over. And then... Fold it over. Nearly done. Oh, yeah, yeah, almost yeah. there. Bit of practice. Thanks. That's really good. That's practice brilliant. Practice nearly there. It's so quick. It's so that quick and so brilliant. easy. Just but you do have to that. master it. But it doesn't take long. It okay, doesn't take long. I am not here for the rest of the show. I'm just going to practice that forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is another way that we can actually fold them as well. Oh, well Put that on the back. desk okay. that way. That's it. Exactly. There you go. Here's a lovely magazine that we're going to place. Oh, that's a lovely oh, magazine. September issue. The magazine there. You can use a magazine as a kind of a, a template for folding. So just do that. Just do that. Just do that. And then take the magazine out of the top. And once you've done that, then it's all nice and flat. There you go. That's good too, actually. Done. Yeah, yeah. not bad. But the other one is amazing. Yeah, the other one is. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. So, oh. lemon juice. Lemon juice is great for getting the stuff off that has been baked on inside. So and also really natural. You're not putting loads of horrible chemicals in there to get yeah, this off. Yeah, totally. So get a lemon, get a whole lemon, squeeze the juice out, pour the juice into the water, and then actually, when you finish with the lemons as well, just shove the rind in, and then you put that on into the microwave for three minutes. Oh, I thought you were about to use it to clean it with.